Okay, so now we are at the point of building a level. I'm just going to show you just the, the few simple points to remember. Now, all inside all of these scenes, all of them have been prepared to be only a single level, except this one. So let me show you what's what, what the different main difference that you need once you build uh, for for a complete uh, level with a main menu. Inside the multiplier, as if you, if you remember from the multiplier tutorial, inside single levels, it's just by multiplier. And when you are building just a single level or you want to include a single level in your own main menu or in your own system, you just make sure that this one is set, uh, nothing is set by game manager. So this one is by multiplier. Inside the on input handler, inside it's uh, by controls. You can uh, check the input method. And auto fire, I'm disabling it. And inside level, the player selection is by level as well. And this is the prefab which is being used for it. Layer, let me just to solidify the concept, open up um, one uh, another level, for example, the space hero. Let me just show you, for example, this uh, space hero vertical level when it's built as a single level. So, for example, you have the multiplier is also by multiplier, never by game manager. If you're starting a level on its own, never used by game manager. And you have inside level also by level. The player is being selected over here, this one which will be used. If you select by game manager and you don't have a main menu and you start the level from its own, it will be confused because it will be uh, trying to, to get the player from the main menu and it's not there. So just be careful about any setting which you put with by game manager. And inside, and I'll keep it by level of course, and inside the input handler, it's the same setting. Now let me show you how the levels which are part of a main menu uh, look like. So I'm going to open up this, the, the same vertical level, but when it's uh, intended to be part of a main menu. So inside a main menu, you'll see everything is by game manager. The multiplier is by game manager, which means the from the main menu, the settings, the easy, medium, hard, whatever, will determine which one of these is controlled and not this number. And by level, you see that the player is being selected by game manager. And it this one is discarded and it's getting the player from the settings. And similarly for the input handler, it's getting it from the setting. Let me hit play and show, show you what will happen. Now, I, I did add some protections so that you can play the game if you don't have by main menu, but it's uh, there, there are so I wouldn't recommend this. And you also get get a message here reminding you that you should use uh, by game manager. And this would also mean that whatever settings I input here, um, in for example, in the level, it, it won't work. So, uh, so yes, once uh, th because this one will be played by main from the main menu, I've set everything by game manager, the level, the multiplier, the input handler, and that's it. Let me start the main menu and see how we want to build a level. Inside the main menu, you'll have a game manager and you'll see inside it the player selection and the main menu scene index and the minimum level scene index and the maximum level scene index. And let me open up the build settings and show you. So uh, when you have a main menu, this is the main menu scene, number zero, and I input it here, number zero. And this is what I intend to, for it to be the first level. And this is the second level, the third level, the fourth level. And it starts from one and ends at four. So this one is zero, at one and four. If you add over here in your build settings, for example, more levels and you don't input the end number over here, they will be discarded. So it's just pretty simple. The main menu number over here and this from one to four are from one to four. So once you have that set up, we come to the player selection. Inside the player selection, uh, I have inside the demo here, for example, multiple player selection, three player selections, and I have uh, one for the vertical level and one for the horizontal level. If you are building a game which is completely vertical, you just disregard this, disregard this one, the horizontal version, and you just don't input it. And you know, if you are building a, your own menu, main menu, just duplicate this scene. No need to to create something special. And this option is in case you have a vertical level and build, building for a desktop. Uh, the edges, it would just fill them either by a color, which is uh, the one you select here, or a background image. And what else? Uh, 
Ah, uh, you have in, if, because we have here three level selection, we need a way to select them. So I'm just going to show up the main menu. So this is the main menu which will show when once you start. And this is the levels menu, which will open up, uh, add uh, buttons depending on the number of levels you have. Let me clear this one. And this is the important player menu. If you notice, I just hidden them. So this is the first uh, player. This is the second one, the third one. Now, uh, as you see, these are referenced over here inside main menu, player select, you have the player selection. And inside the game manager, you have the player selection. I know maybe there's a little bit of information, but if you just open up the main menu scene, the one with the space hero main menu, and you just have a quick look at it, you'll get the, the work, the general workflow. These are the player selections, which will be played inside the levels. We have three player, uh, three player selection at the moment, and because we have three player selections, we have also three different avatars. If you want to make a four player selection, you just increase one avatar, name it four, put whatever image you have, and you just make sure that you also have a, another player. That's it. If you want two players, you just make here two, and this is, I'm just going to settle for three, the ones I put them here, and let me just undo, undo, and that's it. So yes, uh, this is the, the player menu we see here. This will be activated once you click on player. And this is the, the settings menu, which will be activated when you click on settings where you can choose the different settings. And this is the main menu. You don't need to recreate anything. Again, you just can start with the scene and duplicate it and modify it. Let me just, for example, without saving. So this is the main menu I'm going to and as we have said before that this is the main menu uh, build index scene from the build settings and the first and the last level and I'm going to hit play and you see here we have the player selections the player selection will depend on this one and this is the, the, the settings and the, because I, I previously opened up these levels, they are all opened up. Let me go to Schmubboss, delete the save files. I hope they will be deleted now. Let's select the yellow one from the settings. Just make, it starts at default with easy back. And see, you ha we have the, the rest of the levels, but they are not opened up. Let me start, we'll select the first level. And I'll explain a bit about the lighting and why it's dark now. And when I click next, this is the second level. But when you play it inside the video game, it will um, have the correct aspect. Now just let me see inside the levels. This level has opened up. So that's pretty much it. But uh, the reason why you had the lighting dark, because the lighting was not built. So before, before making your final build, you will always need to go into window, uh, rendering, lighting, and you already have the lighting settings here. Instead of auto generate, you just create generate lighting. And now, let me just, um, okay, yeah, I've finished the tutorials. So, and because the first level is not the main one, this is the first level. So I'm going to go into window, rendering lightning, auto generate as well, and save the scene. For the lighting, just make sure inside rendering lighting that you have the uh, lighting settings for each level and the lighting is saved. And once you just click on the main menu now and or you build your game after you have built the lighting for all the scenes that are included in your game, once you hit start, you have your, your player playing. And when you hit restart, it's just happened the same. If you even encounter any similar lightning issues in the single level, when, especially when you hit restart, it's just about uh, building the, baking the lightning. The reason I didn't bake the lightning is because uh, once Unity makes updates, maybe the lighting settings will be different, and then you will get a message that 
your lighting setting needs to be rebuilt, etc. You can read more about lighting set, about lighting on the Unity manual, and it's just uh, pretty straightforward. I just didn't want to confuse the scene with extra additional data. Okay, and once you have your lighting built, once you build your own game, you should have your lighting settings. Again, just to uh, recap, you have here the from the game manager the player selections, the actual players, the prefabs which should be selected, and you have from the main menu the player select, the players which will be selected, and every scene that you are going to build in the main menu and needs to have its settings to um, set by game manager, the input handler, the multiplayer, and the level. And if you are building a, a game just a separate level and you just want to test it or whatever, just make sure it's never by game manager. It's just like this.